Yo, I want to welcome all y'all to the best Madden 19 tips and trips channel where you will be able to dominate on offense, send the fast blitzes on defense, make your opponent rage quit and send you nasty messages or either beg for you to quit out the game. I also do custom schemes if you play regs, so hit your boy up, follow the link in the description to get all the ebooks and you will become an exclusive member. Welcome to the Clamp Squad. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Madden 19 tip video. Today we're going to go over how to beat the cheesy 335 that people will continuously spam over and over and over because it's an unrealistic defense that takes no skill. So after we go over that, then we're going to go over how to shut down a person that spams a cheesy offense, which is the fake will screen. So right now we are on defense. We got our opponent in a third and 13 and we setting up the best coverage on YouTube. If you want my full live gameplay breakdown where I tell you exactly what I do, you can see my adjustments against certain sets. Email me right now. I will send the offense and the defense over to you. And I'm also getting ready to include my 5-2 when I can get enough gameplay behind it because my 5-2 is not something that you can run over and over and over it's something you will have to set up and sneak in and I plan on breaking down when it's best to use it because you got to watch the tendencies of what side he uses his running back on so here we are coming up down with a pick and my opponent is starting to use his 3-3-5 so the first time I see it 3-3-5 Tampa 2 he gets a sack so what am I gonna do now this is when you start mixing in the trap plays. This is when you start mixing in the draw plays. You don't want to look down the field for long passes when they are setting this up because they have eight people in coverage, three to four people cross man, and they just got the advantage. So you got to mix in the run. You got to watch what side the user is on. If the user is hovering on the right side, on the left side, you got to pay attention to that. And then you are able to get yourself to the hash marks and set up four vertical bombs like you just seen right now if you're on the left hash mark you want the tight end on the left side if you're on the right hash mark you want the tight end on that right side then you just want to put an out route on the inside receiver and you want to either motion him over or leave him just like it is that will help suck down the clouds that mean the deep blue has to be responsible for both of the deep routes and once he gets outside somebody is going to be open every single time now when they are spamming it setting up the blitz this is how you can see me running the ball running the ball running the ball i won't pass the ball unless it's a short distance play if they run in three three five over and over and over you only want to pass the ball after you have been running it traps inside zones goal line two three tight end sets then you want to mix in the pass on short downs because you can catch them off guard without them cross manning people because they're going to be expecting to stop the run so now i just ran the ball one last time after seeing my opponent finally going into a different defensive package so we are up 14 to 0 i just completely annihilated that guy now this guy right here he was running this fake screen wheel over and over and over he had ross and all 99 it seemed like a hundred speed receivers against my guys kelvin johnson couldn't keep up with them i started putting everybody in that position to try to put somebody in a better cross man situation and he was running it over and over and over and you could see that guy was just completely getting behind my cover two so it's two keys that you can do you can run cover three and man both inside people up and play sticks or you can bump that inside receiver manually by holding up on the right stick and you're gonna see that once i shut this guy's cheese down he don't even want to continue he don't have nothing else in his back pocket but the one or two cheese plays as we hit him with a high point pass to Kelvin Megatron. I seen he was playing cover two. He tried to set up a nickel blitz. If you set up a nickel blitz and the blitz is coming from the right side, all I got to do is motion somebody over to the right, put him in the out route that's going to drag that cloud down. It's going to make the safety back pedal further than he need to and I can get the ball about three seconds in there. Now you can see this guy fake screen will. Fake screen wheel, fake screen wheel. We just got a sec, it's second and 20. This is a big second and 20 right here. And now I'm gonna watch that inside row. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna hold the right stick up and I'm gonna completely take him out of the play. This guy right here is what gets his offense going. I completely take him out of the play. He takes off running, screaming for his life, throws the ball away and quits. 
If you enjoyed it, drop a big fat like right now. Email me if you want to be able to have all the tricks and tips. Let's go.